This is Matt at Gaslamp Computers. This video is part of my Go Open Source series where I show you open source alternatives to commercial software. And this video is going to feature the DVD authoring tool called DVD Flick. Uh, it's free and open source, licensed under the GPL. And what it does is it takes any, almost any uh, video file and will create a DVD out of it. Uh, you can create compilations, uh, so you might have some video files that you've recorded from your home camcorder and you can't figure out how to get them on DVDs, uh, DVD Flick can probably do it. Uh, it supports all of these video codecs, uh, a number of audio codecs, all of these containers, and it even supports subtitles. Uh, today I'm just going to be converting one of my YouTube videos uh, into a DVD. So you can download DVD Flick at dvdflick.net and the installation is straightforward. Uh, just click next, next, next and then it will be installed. Uh, it will install an icon onto your desktop and you can run it from there. Uh, there is a handy guide uh, included in the user interface. Uh, if you get stuck or if you need something that isn't covered in this video. But I think this video should uh, pretty well cover everything. Okay. So just to show you, you won't be able to hear the sound, but this is just a regular video uh, that I've posted on YouTube. So the first step is to click Add Title. We'll select the video file we want. And now we have uh, a project started. Uh, you can add more video files if you'd like uh, and arrange them uh, as you see fit by moving them up and down. I'm just going to use one video file. So next we can go to Edit Title. Uh, we can change the name of it. We can add chapters. So I'm going to create you know, five chapters. This is only a eight minute file, eight or nine minute file. So, and apply to all titles. This is the video source I want to use. That's the audio source. Uh, this video does not have any subtitles. So we'll click accept. Okay, and now we can edit the menu settings. Uh, if you want to, you can have a menu that uh, comes up like a regular DVD, and you'll be able to select play from it or select the chapter that you want to play. So I'm going to use this orange LED menu and click accept. Uh, next you can go to the project settings and this is uh, somewhat more technical but we can name the project. We'll name it Boink because that's what the video is about. Uh, the target size, it's a standard DVD. Uh, this actually won't be that big but that's what you'll want to shoot for most likely unless you have uh, you can burn uh, regular CDs, but those won't play in a family DVD player. And you can burn dual layer uh, DVDs as well. Uh, I believe all the audio should be left uh, as auto unless you really know what you're doing. Playback and should be left uh, at default and burning. Okay, we're going to create an ISO image and we're going to do this as a backup. So this will be like a backup copy of the DVD that's stored on our hard drive. And then we'll click accept. Okay, and that's it. 
and now we're ready to create a DVD and what we do is just click create DVD uh, if it already exists the destination folder already exists which is down here it is my document slash DVD uh, it says the contents will be deleted and are you sure you want to continue uh, make sure that this directory is empty before you continue but I know that it's empty so I'm gonna click yes okay so what it has to do it has to encode the video from mp4 to the uh, mpeg2 of DVDs and then it has to encode the audio and then it'll combine them author the DVD and you'll be set uh, one fun thing it has is this little tool to entertain you while the encoding process is going on just a little something to pass the time but I'm gonna pause the video while this encodes and I'll be back when it's almost finished alright it's finished encoding and if we go to my computer you can see that the DVD is in the drive we also have this backup copy this ISO file which is an exact copy of the DVD and if we open VLC media player and play the DVD go to open disk select our, D our correct drive and play it and it plays just like a DVD and so you can take this to uh, any home DVD player and it will play so that's how to use uh, DVD Flick. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a message at gaslampcomputers.com.